What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get some jailbreak tweaks on iOS 16. So for this to work, you do need to be running iOS 16.1.2 or below. So fortunately, if you are on 16.2, this will not work. So the first thing you want to do is go into your settings application and you want to go into the privacy and security tab and basically make sure that the developer mode is toggled on so we can install third party application. So once you do toggle it on, it will ask you to reboot your device. And once you do reboot your device, just check in the settings application that developer mode is toggled on. So next, what we want to do is head to the Safari page and you want to go to Zeus.me. So once you're on this page, it's going to have three little folders or sections right here. We want to look for the Mac Dirty Cow apps. So we're going to click on browse right there and it should bring you to a page like this where there's just a bunch of different applications, which we're going to go through right now. So to install an application, all you want to do is tap on get right here and it should give you the prompt to open this page in iTunes. You do want to tap on open. I know sometimes it may be a little bit fishy. You might think it's like a scam or a virus. Just click on open and it should give you the prompt to install the application. If it doesn't, uh, just delete the page or um, basically just close the page and then go back and tap on get again and try again. So from here, we'll tap on install. And since we have developer mode toggle on, we should be able to install it no problem, just like that. So this one is um, no camera sound. So basically it just disables the, uh, the shutter sound. So when we do tap on it for the first time, it may give you like the untrusted developers. So um, for me, it doesn't because I've already uh, allowed access to it. So what we want to do is go to the settings application right here. And then you want to go into the general tab, scroll all the way down until you see VPN and device management. And you basically want to look for that profile, that enterprise app, tap on it and then allow access. So just click on the trust. So for me, I've done it for all already, so I'm good to go. So now we can head into this uh, application where we are able to disable the shutter sound. You just tap on it and it will say success. So if you do obviously want to revert back to the original state, all you want to do is just reboot your device. And basically that goes for all the applications, which I'm going to be showing you throughout this video. So the next app we have is WDB font overwrite. So this allows you to get custom or allows you to basically change your system fonts on your device. So if we actually open up the application here, some of the preset fonts you can select from, but you can have the option to even put custom fonts and there is full instructions on their GitHub page. But for now, now, we'll just go to the preset and basically tap on anyone. If you may have already noticed that my uh, system font was already changed in my settings application, but I'll click on this one right here. It's going to basically run. Just give it a couple seconds and it should say success. So uh, for you to be able to see the results, you want to force close the application. So um, I will close my settings application and now let's head back into it and you should see that the font has completely changed so it doesn't work in a lot of third-party applications like twitter and instagram but um it does actually work in the youtube app so if i actually remove it from my app switcher and open it back up you will see that the font has completely changed uh, to the one I selected in the application. So the next app we have is called Santander. And basically this is like a file manager for your device. So if you've been jailbroken before, it's basically like Falza. But unfortunately, um, if you go into any of the folders, it will say permission denied. So you actually need to know the exact directory uh, to be able to use this application. So um, I will leave a Discord down below the description where you guys can check Sandra's, um hub page and basically there's a lot of cool customizations you can do with this actual application. So the next app is probably one of my favorites which is called Kawabunga. So this one um, is my favorite just because it allows you to have more customizations. So if we actually head in the application right here, you have the option to hide dog, hide home bar, hide folder background, disable full blur, disable app switcher blur and disable shortcut ban which is pretty awesome. So um, for this I will just hide my dock right here and tap on apply and respring. And sometimes you may have to try more than once so it takes effect, but uh, hopefully we do get it on the first try. And you will see my dog has completely been removed and it looks super uh, unique and just sleek uh, depending if you have customized icons, wallpaper, all that stuff. So um, you guys kind of play around with this application uh, called Cowabunga. So the last app is called Troll Lock and basically this allows you to change the glyph on your lock screen. So basically when you unlock your device, so uh, you want to install Troll Lock 1.0 if you're on the 14 Pro or Pro Max. And then basically for all other devices with a notch, you want to download a Troll Lock latest. So for 
unfortunately that will only work for notch devices so if you have a home button it will not work so the app is finished installing on my device so we can now open up the app and we have the option to turn on custom lock which basically is custom glyph so you're going to be able to import whatever you want and I'm not going to be doing that right now. I'm going to be using just the presets one. So I'm going to click on start. It's going to give you a warning message. We'll tap on begin. And then you can select one of the following five right here. And basically just select on one. I'll select the middle one. And at the bottom of the screen, it will ask you uh, to do a quick respring after it does close the application automatically. So that's why we did install InstaSpring. And uh, it did take me a couple of tries for this to actually work. So if it doesn't work for the first time, just keep trying again. So if we lock my device and unlock it again, you will see that we now have the custom glyph right there. And you guys can go ahead and try um, some of the other images that they do have on the preset. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I mentioned earlier, if you do ever want to go back to the original state, all you have to do is do a quick reboot and you're good to go. So if there is any more new tweaks, um, with any of the new applications i will make an updated video but if you did enjoy the video drop a like on it hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video and that's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next one